Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to the last Let's Play of How to Pool Boy Friend. I'm Kamchak Fisco, and come join me for the unique unlocked playthrough, Bad Boy Love. That's what it's called, don't ask me. Human Representative. To help humans and birds advance hand and feather towards a bright and happy future, we decided to enroll one human in the school starting the year 2187. They will be the human representative. The pandemic has long since ended, but we must nonetheless be cautious of the risk of infection with Sumatera influenza when making our selection. We will pick a strong, healthy 15-year-old human who displays hereditary resistance to Sumatera influenza. The human representative? This is talking about Tsaka, no matter how we look at it. 2187. That's when we enrolled here. Come on, let's do the rest. The chosen individual will be the symbol of human concession, to wit, a hostage for birds. If the representative is, is to die in the school, the entire campus will be sealed off, and all the birds inside will be given to the humans as prisoners. Damn. The seal will be lifted 12 hours after death is confirmed, and the birds will be delivered to the humans. The school will be declared an extraterritorial zone, and the avian protests of any human reprisal will not be tolerated. If Yoko is to die, so her death was connected to the dome after all. And... The important part is the final gruesome exchange! Basically, if anything happens to Hyoko, the representative of humanity, then the entire school takes the blame. So it would seem. They trap us in here to give humans time to arm themselves. The dome will open in a few hours, and what awaits us outside is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. How humorous. It's not humorous at all! So this was the true face of her enrollment here. I rather think this whole thing was arranged to widen the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed, if things here go deeper than we ever things here go deeper than we ever realized. As you know, this school's public stance is very liberal on the human cohabitation issue. In fact, the school's first principal financer, the Ichio the Ichio 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 Group, has been heavily involved in human charities for the past twenty years. I have investigated the history of St. Pigeon Nations extensively, and I can confirm. And I... I can confirm? That's not proper. I can confirm that it was founded with the idea of coexistence with humans. But the Hawk Party's been sending agents here for a long time, eating away at the system. Like a dreadful virus. We've had information about this document for some time. It is real. It's kind of hard to take this in all at once. Just to make sure... For 12 hours, the dome remained closed. During that time, humans will gather to take revenge. And then... When the door opens, they will kill every bird in sight. And with that, another era of war between birds and humans will begin. That student that got shot when he flew out the hatch. There are already humans waiting out there with guns. She was discovered this morning and the dome was raised soon after. So the time is not from when she died, but from when her death is confirmed. The evacuation was about two hours ago? Yeah, it was right about the sort of second period, around 10 o'clock. And so we have until 10 p.m. before we're all killed. You seem awfully calm, Sakuya, even after watching somebody get shot. Remain calm, Kawara. Do nothing but worry about what's going wrong. What's going wrong, and you'll be next. I do not know who did this, but they will rule the day they decided to take over the label. What time is it, Mr. Leon? Just past two. I don't know why I gave him an announcer voice. We have only eight hours then. Eight hours. We have to find an escape route in eight hours or we'll be killed. But if we go outside, we'll be killed anyway. Just getting outside isn't enough. There has to be another way. My dictionary does not contain the word impossible. We shall continue the investigation. You're very decisive, Sukuya. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. You don't attempt to flatter me, Kawara. I'm not. I mean it. Ah, he, he doesn't take compliments well, does he? We found the connection between Hyoko's death and the dome. There's clearly some sort of intrigue behind it all. I don't want to die without knowing the truth. Oh, is this when we can finally find out about Shu's connection to the Hawk Party and can he can be punished for it? We better get going now. We have to solve this before we run out of time. You're a promising lad. If I were to give you a piece of advice, well, don't miss the forest for the trees. Don't miss the forest for the trees? Sakuya, so there's one more file. Um... Operation Hadiful. 
What is that? I don't know. That's what it says on here. The bottom half is torn off. We can't read it at any rate. I don't feel like it has anything hopeful anyway. That's awfully. That's an awfully friendly name for a confidential document, though. Stupid Japanese! Look, it's spelled hurtful. Whoa, it is. I thought hurtful just meant heartful. Hurtful boyfriend. We're on the hurtful boyfriend playthrough. I suspect that we will find many things, many of the things to come quite hurtful. Right. It's probably something important given that it was in the locked file. Indeed. I hadn't heard any of this hurtful thing before, but you might want to look into the school's history. The school's history? At any rate, the headmaster must have known this would happen after Sasaka dies. Right. The escape hatch was no doubt put in place to allow him alone to escape. Which means that he may have had a guarantee of safety for himself? I don't want to suspect an elder, but it does look that way. Everything going on here is connected. We may well find us some use of the records. Right, let's go look at the school documents then. I'm not the only dead agent in the school. I'm sure the other will help you as well. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh, he, he already has been. Thanks. We know. Time to look for more clues. Now I get why you're supposed to play every playthrough before now, because for one, it makes you attached to the characters to either like them or dislike them already. And number two, you learn the backstories of the characters, so you know who the hell they are by the time this rolls around. Time to go look for more clues. Maybe we should write in the notes first. Mr. Leon said the investigation of the school's history, but how? Where do we look? The headmaster's office or the library, perhaps. We already looked through the headmaster's office. Did you see anything like school records or anything? I would have thought they would be there, but I don't recall seeing any. The library it is, then. And the mystery we have left to solve is... The bloodstained stranger Oko saw going into the infirmary yesterday. Exactly. What with the headmaster dying, an armor of gun-toting bipeds showing up to turn us all into jerk chicken, and... It all... I almost forgot about it. And the Scarecrow, we still don't know where he came from. He appeared along with the dome, and no doubt it's connected to it. We continue to investigate, I'm sure his origins will become clear. And Tosaka's gruesome end will be the best... is the best clue we have. But now we should forget the puppet, and chase after the bloodstained bird. Right. That's... that's that... that's that decided, then. That... that's not a... That's not a smooth flowing sentence. That's that! Decided, then. See, the comma should be in front of decided. Just saying. We'll go to the library to read up on the school's history and... We'll look for that bird. Probably doesn't matter, but what should we do first? Go to... uh, the library. Let's find out what the hell's going on first. He told us to look up the history first for a reason. The library, I wonder if Nageki's at the gym yet. Nageki? Who? I met in the library earlier. He stayed behind? An unusually dense individual, to be sure. The library's a little ways from here. Spend some time jogging through the hallways. Birds jogging? More like bouncing quickly forward. I've been trying to ignore it, but the dim lights makes the library even creepier than the rest of the school. Getting hung up, uh, getting hung up over little things is it, it? Getting hung up over little things at a time like this is a sign of weak nerves. Really? Well then, where are the school's documents? Hmm. Probably not just where any birdie can look at them. They are probably somewhere in the back then. How dull. Come, let us search. Right. Books, books, and none of them are what we're looking for. I was hoping this would be in the corner, but apparently not. And here, a line of incredibly dusty cyclo- That's odd. There are nine of them. Volume 6 is missing. Huh, that's weird. Did somebody misfile them? Anyway, St. Pitch Nation's history. It's not back here with a large volume, so maybe it's in the smaller book? It's not here. You never left? Is that a problem? Well, not really, but I told you earlier, there's an emergency going on. Hmm. Hmm? I can't tell if he doesn't realize what's going on or just doesn't care. A little of both. The records. Huh? Keep looking there and you'll never find them. So you know where they are? 
Yep. Well, since he's here even now, I imagine he basically lives in here. So it's hardly surprising he knows where to find things. I don't have much time. Would you tell me where to find them? By request. Request? You don't know what that is? He gazes at me with eyes like black holes of cosmic disdain. You can only get them by request. They're not kept out here. Then where are they kept? Behind the reception desk, in the back. It's not locked, so go ahead. There are a number of bookshelves behind the desk, it's true. Thank you, Nageki, really. Don't worry about it. You've been mumbling to yourself ever since we split up. Please try to remain in charge of your faculties, Kawara. Oh, sorry, I was talking to him. Talking? To the bookshelves? Surely there are better uses for your energy. No, Nageki was telling me where to find... There's no one else here! Sees this bizarre monodrama! Um... What is he talking about? The Gekki's standing right here next to me. It's not like he's behind the shelf or something. I was worried he was a figment of my imagination for a minute, but he just told me where to find the records. But Sakuya... Let's find out. Can I ask you something, Gekki? Yes? Are you... a hallucination? If I was, that would mean you're asking a hallucination whether or not he's a hallucination. Yeah, that's right. Does it seem a little weird? Does it matter? Maybe I am, or maybe I'm not. That doesn't answer anything. This doesn't usually happen. I've never been able to talk to a bird who I've just met before. I think I'll remember everything soon. What about you? Have you found the thing you forgot yet? Nageki, do you know something about that? Huh? He disappeared. The thing I forgot. That's exactly what the doctor said, too. Why did Nageki know about that? It wasn't just a coincidence, was it? Am I forgetting something important about all this? I don't think I can dismiss it as just a hallucination. Request only books. This shelf. Looks like it. I see a lot of the same books as were in the headmaster's office. Chronological... Uh, chronology of St. Pigeonations. This. Let's see. 10180, founding of the school, same year. Ichio Kitsugu inaugurated as headmaster. 10180? Much more recent than I thought. Only eight years, I hadn't known either. Aside from that, it's all transfer student records and sports scores. Is there really a clue in here? Wait, Sakuya, look at this. 2183, Medical Center shut down due to fire. Medical oh, Medical Center? Did this school have something like that? I don't think so. There was no mention of it in the student guide. I suppose it was never reopened. Does it say anything else? Um, right here. Damage from the fire. The book presents us with a new mystery. Is it to taunt our inability to hold all those we already have? A new sort of mystery. 2183, medical center shut down due to fire. Freshman Fujishiro Nageki died in the basement where the fire started. Oh, so he didn't jump out the window? He was burned alive? Oh, that's a horrible way to go. Didn't I just hear that name? The exact same, but that's... Nageki died five years ago? Then what does Nageki I keep meeting today? He didn't deny that he was a hallucination. Sakuya so couldn't see him, which means he's... A ghost. Well, say such dreadful things! It's unscientific! I don't know how to say that. To this day, well, of fairness, we better, <laughs> we're betting our lives on the search, you know. We won't have any cold rubbish brought into it. But I think he knew something. If he's the same bird that he could be the key to solving this mystery. Do you tend to rely on some invisible ghost? There are limits, come on! This is you can't see him. <laughs> My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy them. So you all take care of yourselves, and if you want to see more of me, keep up with the video on the list, or we'll stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everybody.